Hey, bio team. Uh, so in order to create a polymer, you need some sort of process uh, for bonding monomers together, for synthesizing the monomers into a polymer. And we call this type of synthesis uh, dehydration synthesis. And to show you where dehydration synthesis gets its name, uh, dehydration, we'll show you an example here with two glucose molecules. So in order to synthesize together, these two glucose molecules are going to bump together uh, right on these highlighted atoms. And you'll notice that the highlighted atoms here are a hydroxide group and a single hydrogen. And so when these two glucose bump together, they actually break these atoms off, which form an H2O molecule. You've got the two hydrogens and the single oxygen. And so what's left behind after this water breaks off uh, are opposite charges. So one glucose will be left with a positive charge and the other glucose will be left with a negative charge. And so then very quickly after the water molecule breaks off, uh, these two glucose molecules bond together. They synthesize together. Uh, and so the reason we call this a dehydration synthesis is because the two glucose molecules lost a water molecule. They were dehydrated. Now, it's also possible that our bodies want to break down a polymer. Uh, and to accomplish this, our bodies will do uh, what is literally the opposite reaction of dehydration. They'll do a process called hydrolysis in which they use a water molecule to break apart a larger molecule. So here we've got that same molecule that we just synthesized and an extra water molecule. And this water molecule can bump back into the oxygen where it just left and split apart the polymer back into two monomers. So this reaction is a form of decomposition, a larger molecule breaking into smaller molecules. And of note is that these two molecules could then recombine uh, through another dehydration synthesis reaction, and this process could repeat itself. And so that's it. At this point, you're going to see a couple of examples, and you're going to have to identify them as dehydration or hydrolysis. Uh, best of luck.